Hello, today I'm looking at M3 International A level, January 17. This is question two, and I can see that this is testing me on variable forces, variable acceleration. So here I have a particle of mass 0 0.6 is moving along the positive x axis in the positive direction. The only force acting on P acts in the direction of x, increasing, and has magnitude of this, where T is the time and P uh, after P leaves the origin. When time is zero, the particle is at rest at zero. Find an expression in terms of t for the velocity of p at time t seconds, and this is worth two marks. So this is the force, so I can use the equation with force in that the resultant force is the mass times the acceleration. So I have resultant force is equal to the mass, and 0 0.6 is 3 fifths multiplied by the acceleration. Now for the acceleration I can use dv by dt or I could use v dv by dx um, and in this case because they gave me the force in terms of t I'm going to use dv by dt. Okay so now I can separate and integrate in order to end up with an expression of uh, v in terms of t. So um, let's get this 3 fifths out of the way. So I'll multiply both sides by 5 over 3. And so on the right hand side I end up with the integral of 1 dv. So integrating the right hand side I end up with v. Integrating the left hand side I have 5 thirds. 3t squared divided by 2 plus uh, t over 2 plus a constant. And now I need some initial conditions in order to work out this constant. Now they told me when t is 0, uh, and p is at rest. So that means that v is 0. So when I pop um, t is 0 into here and v is 0 there, then I end up with c is 0. So therefore, v is equal to 5 over 3 multiplied by... Oh, actually, I can multiply that out. So uh, the 3s here would cancel, and you'll end up with 5 over 2 t squared plus 5t over 6 multiplying the 5 over 3 with the half. Uh, and c was 0, so that is it. So that is for the first two marks. Then it says the particle passes through point A with this speed. Find the distance from O to A. So if I put that v into here, then, then I could find out the value of t at that point. But I really I want the relationship with the distance and time. So I, in that case, I could rewrite v as dx by dt, and then separate and integrate again. OK, so for part b, first of all, I shall pop in this value of 10 over 3. So I get that um, 10 over 3 is equal to 5 over 2t squared plus 5t over 6. And I'm trying to work out at what value of t um, does this uh, work? So I can see I've got a quadratic equation. So if I multiply everything by 6, that will go there, I'll be left with a 3, and here I'll be left with a 2. And then subtracting 20, I end up with 0 is 15t squared plus 5t minus 20. And I can divide everything by 5. I should have divided it by 5 there, really, but anyway. OK, so I end up with 3t squared plus t minus 4. OK, so um, in order to try to uh, solve this equation, then I can uh, hopefully factorise. Let's try 3t and t. So there aren't too many different uh, possibilities to try. So I think it would be a 4 there and a 1 there. And I need the 4 to be positive and this to be negative. OK, so the only value 
at which the speed is 10 over 3, I can't have t as negative, so therefore t is 1 at point A. Okay, so now that I've found that out, then I can rewrite v as dx by dt. So I get that dx by dt is equal to this thing. And now I can separate and integrate. So I will have the integral of dx equals the integral of 5 over 2t squared plus 5t over 6 integrated with respect to t. And uh, doing that integral, then on the left hand side, I get x. And on the right hand side, I get 5 over 2 t cubed uh, divided by 3. So this 2 will become a 2 times 3. Sorry, never write a number on top of another number. Okay, uh, plus 5t squared and then divide by 2. So the bottom will become 12. I just integrated, so I need to write plus c. And now I need to pop in some initial conditions. Well, the initial conditions come from here. They said when t is 0, p is at rest at o. So in other words, when t is 0, x is 0. So when t is 0, x is 0. So if that disappears and that disappears and that disappears, I get that c is 0. So therefore, x will be 5 over 6 t cubed plus 5 over 12 t squared. And now I can pop, pop in this value of t that I found into this expression to find the distance OA. So when t is 1, I end up with x is 5 over 6 times 1 cubed plus 5 over 12 times 1 squared. And uh, if I just double the top and the bottom of this one, then I end up with uh, 15 over 12, which will simplify to um, dividing by 3. So I get 5 over 4 meters. So in other words, uh, 1.25 meters exactly. Okay, so that part of the question is worth five marks. I hope you found this solution helpful. Uh, good luck with your studies.